Welcome to Olympian Cares, giving you the best in water testing and analysis. Today we're looking at Newswise at an article for Runzler.com, and these scholars are working to build and test prototypes to monitor water quality for nitrogen. We talk about a lot of different things on this channel. Sometimes we don't talk about nitrogen, and the National Science Foundation has provided grants to assist in detecting nutrients that feed harmful algae blooms. We did a video on that, and while algae doesn't sound deadly, doesn't sound toxic, it very much can be. So harmful algae blooms are uncontrollable growth of algae that produce toxins or severely reduce the amount of oxygen in lakes and oceans. And they also create an environment that's dangerous for humans and aquatic ecosystems. And that can threaten the economy of regions that rely on tourism and fishing. And one of these uh, HABAs, harmful algae blooms, can be linked to the increase in algal nutrients such as nitrogen. So that's why it's important to take a look at that. With the occurrence of HABAs on the rise in the globe, determining how changes in nitrogen levels in water bodies affect the location and the severity of blooms is a critical step in keeping the public safe and finding solutions for the growing problem. As I said, water quality is a growing concern as freshwater resources are limited in many places across our country and around the world, Dr. Sawyer said. This prototype can potentially play a key role in the future of aquatic environments. So this is great to see that they're taking initiative to see about nitrogen so they can stop HABAs. That being said, it's always a good idea to test your water to make sure that it's safe.